By the end of this video, you'll be able to create and print a numbered checklist for a group of selected students and learn how to export this list to an Excel file if needed. Here's the situation. You're an administrative assistant at a large K-8 school. Mr. Jones, a grade 8 teacher, has asked you to create a numbered checklist listing all the boys in his homeroom class for a project he's working on. How do you go about doing this? You need to begin at the PowerSchool Start page. As usual, click on the PowerSchool logo to refresh the page and you're ready to get started. You need to create a numbered checklist for selected students from Mr. Jones's homeroom class, in this case, the boys. You begin by generating a list of these homeroom students. Looking at the functions on the left side of the page, where would you go to find these students? If you said Teacher Schedules, then you are correct. Click on Teacher Schedules. From the list of teachers on the left, select Mr. Jones. Listed at the top, you see Mr. Jones's homeroom class. To see the students in that class, click on the blue enrollment number showing the number of students currently in his homeroom. As you can see, all of Mr. Jones's students are currently selected by default as indicated by the checked boxes. Remember that you can select and deselect students by clicking on the appropriate boxes as needed. Mr. Jones needs a list with only the boys in his homeroom, so select those students only. Joe, Asa, Mackay, Terrence, Curtis, Nelson, Rylan, Carl, Manuel, and Neb. Those are all the boys. Once they're selected, click on the Make Current Student Selection icon. Doing so brings up the Group Functions menu. These are functions that you would often do with a selected group of students. Scanning down the page, you will see Export. You wish to export these students to a list, so select List Students. Looking around the page, you see that you can set up the list with titles, columns, and so on as required. You also have the option to sort if needed. Mr. Jones wanted a numbered checklist. To start, type in a title for this list. To create a numbered list, type star count in the first column. This will number all the students in Mr. Jones's list. In column 2, you would like the names. Clicking on the Fields button will bring up a list of all the available fields. Typing last in the filter for last name and selecting last first will put the student's last name and first name in this column. Let's name this column. Typing a period in each of the next columns will leave those columns blank. This will be ideal for creating Mr. Jones's checklist. For the padding in each cell, using a standard of 5, we'll vertically space the names properly in the cell. You can experiment with this number to create different looks. Check off the grid lines. This will make it easier for your checklist to be read. Lastly, you can sort this list by student name. Left click and drag over the last first field. Right click, copy. Clicking on the sort field, right click, paste. This will allow 
the list to be sorted by last name, and it will already be sorting in ascending order. Click Submit will produce the desired list. If you'd like to print this list, select the printer icon in the upper right corner, set your printing parameters, and click Print. If you wish to export this checklist to an Excel file for further formatting, then left-click and drag over the list to select it. Hover your cursor over the selection and right-click. Select Copy. Now minimize PowerSchool and open Excel on your desktop. Open a blank document. Click on the first cell. Click Paste. And your list is now pasted into an Excel document. You can edit your document as required. Now the edited checklist can be saved electronically as an Excel file. and can be saved for future use. Congratulations! You've successfully created a numbered checklist and exported it to an Excel spreadsheet. Mr. Jones now has the list he needed for his project.